Lesson 7, FET Amplifier Section 7.2 Amplification of Voltage This is an amplifier using an N-channel JFET. Experiment 7.2 Pause the video, and follow the instructions. This is to measure the voltage gain AV. This figure shows how to measure the voltages. Pause the video, and check your wirings. Pause the video, and check your wirings. This is the result of experiment 7.2. The horizontal axis represents time, measured in milliseconds. The vertical axis represents voltage, measured in volts. The red line represents VDS and the blue line represents VGS. The absolute value of AV was 10.9. Section 7.3 Output Circuit Experiment 7.3.1 Pause the video, and follow the instructions. This experiment is designed to measure the ID versus VGS curve of a JFET. These are the measured waveforms. From the saved data, the drain current ID was calculated. This is the obtained graph of the ID versus VGS curve. This is the graph from the data sheet of 2SK303. Note that both the horizontal and vertical axis ranges of this graph are different from the left. IDSS is the drain current when VGS is equal to 0 volts. The measured graph is superimposed on this graph. The measured curve had the same characteristic as that on the data sheet. Let's apply a linear approximation to this graph. The operating point Q is determined by this equation. IDQ is calculated to be 0.606 mA. From this graph, VGSQ is read as negative 0.172 volts. Next, the tangent line at Q is identified by applying the least square method, to the data in the vicinity of point Q on the ID versus VGS curve. The identified line is given by this equation. Therefore, the transconductance of the output circuit GM is 3.30 mS. Experiment 7.3.2 Pause the video, and follow the instructions. This experiment is to measure ID versus VDS characteristics. These are two of the measured waveforms. The red curve is VDD and the blue curve is VDS. This was the case for VGG was negative 0.2 volts. From the saved data for VDD and VDS, ID was calculated using this equation. This graph shows the obtained ID versus VDS curves. For measuring each curve, VGG was kept constant. This is the load line expressed by this equation, where VDD equals 5 volts. Let's see how the input signal VS is amplified using the ID versus VGS curve obtained, and the load line. Assume that this VS is given. This waveform is drawn by rotating the time axis 90 degrees clockwise. VGS varies with the signal voltage VS. Then, ID changes with the variation of VGS. Note that I lowercase d is the AC component of I uppercase d. As ID changes, VDS varies along the load line. The AC component of VDS, which is V lowercase ds, is then drawn as this waveform. The voltage gain is approximately negative 11. In experiment 7.2, the voltage gain was negative 10.9.
Q is the operating point on the load line. This curve was measured by adjusting the DC bias voltage VGG, so that the curve intersected the Q point. At the Q point, the output resistance RO is defined as the slope of IDVDS curve. RO was 34.6 kilo ohms. This is the equivalent circuit of the JFET amplifier we have determined so far. GM is the transconductance, and RO is the output resistance. The author of this material is Takeshi Furuhashi, Professor Emeritus, Nagoya University. If you have any questions, send emails to this address.